Hi, it's Chris Buckley here in my music studio. Now, I'm not a car YouTuber, but I am a musician who loves cars. And I thought I'd let you know about the five favorite things about my new Nissan Z, my top five. So here we go. My favorite five things about my new 2023 Nissan Z. So having had this car, you know, for three months now almost, and having, you know, two 370s and a 350 in the past, I think I have some qualification to talk about some of these points. So number one favorite thing of this car is the engine. The twin turbo engine is a peach. It's so amazing, the torque is amazing, there's no turbo lag, I love it. So you like mentioned before, I'm really impressed with the smoothness of the engine and you know, it revs all the way up and there's no you know, slump in the torque. The torque just keeps on building as you go close to the red line. And now that I've run it in, I've, I've been able to experience it a lot more. It's a bit smaller and it's actually a little bit more fuel efficient than the 370s, 3.7. So it's a real, real beauty of an engine. Um, and, you know, I just love it. It's no lag. Number two favorite thing about Nissan Z is its exterior design. It is just stunning. I love it. It's all a grey colour too. This car is an absolute head turner. So yeah, this car is um, you know a real head turner. They're quite rare. They're going to be rare in New Zealand. Um, I was one of the first people in the country to get one, and you know it's an expensive two-door car, which is not going to be very practical for a lot of people. And you know, there's not that many of them road. The Spolder Grey colour was, you know, wasn't my first choice at first. I was going to go black, and then I saw some of the renderings and images of the black ones, and I just thought I needed some contrast against some of the black plastics you can see at the back. And the, the, I think the Spolder Grey sets up pretty well. It actually changes colour in different light. It can be almost bluish in some colours. And you see, um, it sort of looks a bit blue sometimes. I mean, it can look quite grey. Um, so yeah, it attracts a lot of attention. Uh, I get. Uh, it has a lot of street cred with all the JDM market and you know a lot of people are not sure what it is they come up to me and think it's electric or sometimes they think it's European um, they don't realize it's a Japanese car uh, the Nissan diehards know what it is um, and you know when we sit in traffic and get a lot of a lot of people just you know come up to me yelling out the window talking to me about it so it's it's definitely got lots of personality and and presence, so it's it's a cool car. My number three favorite thing about the new Nissan Z are the lights, the front and back. I just think they're a, a step up on the 370. I just love them. I love the retro look. I love how bright they are. I really dig what Nissan did with this. I think this is one of the best design elements. But you know, they throw it back to the 300 ZX, and, and you know, had a motif related to that car, and they're very three dimensional. Three dimensional, as you can see. Um, and they're very bright, so in, in the light they still stand out. And I thought the contrast with the black part there. Very bright, three dimensional sort of look. And I'm a real fan of the front lights. Some people are not digging these that much. I love them. Um, you can see the refresher rate on the camera is not really picking that up, but they're very bright from a distance here inside the garage. The headlights are on as well. Just something cool about them. They, they hark back to you know, the original 240Z. And I just think we've got, you know, that's what finished the car off so beautifully. Number four favorite thing about the new Nissan Z are the displays and the digital technology in the car. The TFT display is amazing. I love the new infotainment system. And Nissan did a really good job of this. I think it's, it's quite refreshing not to have things that like like iPads stuck in front of a you know the dash or in front of your steering wheel, it's not my kind of thing. It gives you you know to keep that real sports car look, but keeping it modern. I like how you can change the display on the you know the TFT display between sport, normal, and enhance. Very easy to navigate. Very crisp graphics. Very easy to read, and um, I tend to drive around a sport the most. I like how you can, on the fly, when you're driving, go through the modes. And I was quite surprised by that. I thought when you were driving the car, but actually you'd have to stop before you can change the screens. But you have to be careful because it can be a little bit of a when you're driving, um, going through the, the screens. 
And so I'm surprised you're allowed to do that, but in, in some ways it's quite handy to be able to do that and actually just change and fly. You can't see the temperature, which I like to look at the outside ambient temperature when you're in sport mode. And you have your upshift indicators. I've customized those in my car. Um, it's quite cool, there's normal mode, going through audio. In New Zealand spec, we don't get sat satellite navigation, so I just use Apple CarPlay. I thought this was quite crisp, quite a crisp display. I really like this. Um, Nissan's, you know, stock, looks like stock um, infotainment system that they have on my new cars at the moment. And um, it's pretty responsive. I have found a couple of times I've, I've turned my car on, it hasn't come on properly, I had to restart it again. Now to reset the computer. Now these gauges are amazing. I love, love these three gauges. They're nice and bright. Even in daylight, they're very bright. You've got the battery, you've got turbo speed, and you've got turbo, turbo boost. And now that I've just ran the, ran the car around, I can actually see those moving a bit more because I'm going to put the foot down a bit. through the different TFT displays and it, it is quite easy I'm not sure how safe it is <laughs> but it is very very cool very crisp my number five favorite thing of the new Nissan Z is actually an automatic transmission I, I really love it it sounds better than the manual it's quite a lot bit louder and I actually think it's quite smooth and cooking up so I'm probably gonna get a bit of negative feedback about what I said about the automatic but the fact is I've had a um, you know, 350 it was a manual, a 370 it was a manual, a 370 that was an auto. BMW is out with manuals um, and this car is an auto and you know, when you're stuck in traffic being an auto is pain and if you know how to you know use the paddles and drive using the automatic is really fun um, and this nine speed is very smooth and it's the, the seven speed in the 370 was, was quite good too. It wasn't amazing, but they're quite good. And you know, using the pedals is quite a good way to have some fun. And you can really, you know, hear the difference between the manual car and the auto. Um, the, the, the new Z um, with, the, with the auto is, is way more fruitier in sound. And you know, and it is quick, it is still quite quick. It's not as good as the ZF eight speed that's going around a lot of car products. But it's quick enough and here I am using the D mode to change it from standard to sport and I find that the it's so cool when you put it in the sport mode it makes everything a little bit more savage you can actually feel the shifts you know pull you back into the seat and you're pulling most pedals it's really cool so I love the automatic transmission this so there we have it my top five favorite things about the Nissan Z the 2023 Nissan Z um, it's a lovely car. It's amazing. It's got plenty of power. There's this L3 Sydney. We've got them about to sell. And um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. I'll, I'll be putting content as I go. Um, I just felt like I needed to contribute to the Z platform and talk about it because it's, you know there's not that many around still, and I've had mine a while now. I love it. So thanks very much for watching. And my next video is going to be the five weakest parts of the car, which will be quite interesting because it's quite hard to find five weak things but anyway thanks for checking me out and hook into my music i love it. lots of followers on spotify thank you so much for checking me out so please follow and subscribe and if you love rock shred guitar this could be a good place to stick around so thank you very much for everything please like and subscribe i really appreciate it. thank you so much chris out